Hi, it is Friday and Epicenter is over for today. So, VP just lost to LGD, a Chinese team. Uh, it was two to one. And that is actually quite surprising because they've been pretty dominant this tournament and it has seemed like the Chinese teams have kind of struggled against um, the top three teams in the world. So it was pretty nice to see them win, even though VP is my favorite team. So what sucks is that VP is playing a best of one tomorrow for elimination and best of one sucks. It's just so like open-ended, you know, anything can happen. Um, but it is about, it is merely 11.30. So I figured that I would go get some bubble tea and then go take a hike because it's Friday. I'm hoping that since it's a weekday, there won't be as many people. I still plan on driving an hour out, but it's like 80 today. It's a beautiful day. Um, it is a little bit hot around the neighborhood for Riley, but uh, where I go to hike tends to be a bit more breezy and in the mountainous areas. So hopefully that will make it cool enough for her. So. This was a little spontaneous, but I was thinking about hiking these next few days because the weather is starting to be uh, warmer and nicer. And I think going on a day like today is probably preferable to a weekend. So I have the rest of the day to myself. I have been awake since 4 a.m. Um, I took a brief nap for maybe like an hour earlier, but I think for now I feel all right, not too sluggish. So I will... Uh, head out now and ah, oh, I really hope I have nature all to myself. Peaceful little meadow area. Oh, and the nice breeze. I'm standing under the shade right now. And then we have the puppers. So alert and everything. Ah, oh, it is a bit hot today. Don't know how long I'll be able to hike for. Hopefully as long as I can before this one gets heated. Come on, puppers. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> no, dirty pups. Why did you have to go that way? Good. Oh Jesus. Yeah, she's the king of the stump. I had to lift her onto there. She is not the type of dog that has the jumping height for this, but I thought it would make for a really nice picture. And uh, I'll probably have to carry her down. That's quite a jump. I don't know if I'll make her do that. She's not the greatest at jumping from higher heights. Hi, baby. Riley, good girl. Hi. Hello. Riley is drinking a ton of water behind me. A lot, oh gosh. But um, I just got back from hiking. <sighs> it was pretty hot today and I am very tired because I haven't really slept much since I woke up for Dota. Maybe just like an hour nap earlier. So now I really think I should nap at least for a little bit. It's only like 2.30, but um, ah. Uh, just doesn't feel great and I definitely need some rest. I'm hungry too. My stomach started hurting a little bit during the hike, so I think I'll make myself some food first before I go to sleep, just cause like I need to take care of my stomach. It started hurting like over an hour ago and it started subsiding, so um, low energy right now, but I took some very nice pictures today, so I'm happy about that. Hey, so Epicenter just finished for today. It's Saturday. And surprisingly, I don't feel too shitty even though I've been awake since 4 a.m. Uh, I definitely slept a bit during one of VP's games because I was like suffering, very tired, passing out. But now I kind of feel rejuvenated in a sense. So it's like 11:16, and I've been craving bubble tea. So I am going to head out and I just felt like I felt like dressing up, so uh, I don't know. Sometimes it's nice to dress up once in a while, especially when I've been riding all week. So let's see. So here is my outfit. And I was thinking that if I wore my other Valentino heels, it would look a little bit too fancy. So these are like subtle 
enough. Plus, like, I can't just forget about these. These were quite expensive also. So yeah, this is kind of like a, uh, the shorts make it look kind of casual. Um, I definitely feel like it would be nice for me to get more bottoms that are less casual as denim shorts because I like, I like dressing up in a semi-formal way. I don't know if people kind of caught on to that, but I'm not a very casual person. I kind of like that clean, polished look. So jean shorts don't always contribute well to that, but yes, time for me to head out. <laughs> Hello, that was a super short outing. I got bubble tea and I was like, there's nothing else for me to do outside right now. So even though I wanted to like stay out and kind of enjoy the day, there was nothing to do. Like I could have gone to a museum, I guess, or I could have visited somewhere, ate at a restaurant or something, but I'm trying not to eat out as much. I've been pretty bad about it. And I have stuff at home that I can eat, so just trying to be good about that. But um, I think I might take a quick little joy ride. This time I'm gonna try to limit my ride to an hour total. In the past, I, were, I was doing two hours total without any breaks really. Well, I would break, but it would be like one minute break on the side of the road. So I'm gonna go out really quick for a joy ride. Um, I initially was concerned about riding while I am a little tired, but I think this brief ride should be okay and I kind of wanna like clear my head, um, take advantage of the nice day outside because aside from that I won't have much else to do. So, I mean, after my joy ride, then I can be a hermit. Hi, good morning. It is Sunday and the finals for Epicenter are happening right now. It is between LGD, Chinese team, versus Team Liquid, European team, and 2-1. LGD needs to win one more game and then they win the whole thing. And they're, they are performing so well. These games are so exciting. They're very tight. It's not stompy at all. It's very back and forth and they're really punishing each other for their mistakes. So what a great thing to wake up to. I'm so excited to watch this next game. Maybe I'll go to game five. That'd be pretty neat. But um, in terms of today, looks like a lovely day out. I'm definitely positive that the weather's going to be warming up now because Riley has been shedding a lot. Hair everywhere. I brushed her the other day and it took so long because I just kept removing more and more hair. But um, today, not doing much. I've been playing some Path of Exile to try it out. Um, there's say some flashback event going on, so I'm trying to be involved with that. And then later, I'm going to go to Shane's, help him out with more training again. And then after that, we are going to eat at this Brazilian steakhouse called Rei de Gado in downtown San Diego. Um, I tried it once before with him and I was kind of like tipsy, so I want to try this place again where I am sober and kind of see what the experience is like. It's a expensive-ish restaurant, but once in a while it'll be nice to dress up and go out to these places, so I'm looking forward to that. Hi. I am about to head out for some more dog training and I brought my e-collar and my bag over there. But here's my outfit. I am dressed up a little fancier because I am going, we are going to a Brazilian steakhouse later. But yes, going to Brazilian steakhouse. Otherwise I would probably wear like active wear for some egg on dog training. Tuesday and I'm home right now with my baby. After personal training, today was a really rough day. <laughs> like honestly, so the aspect of workouts that I hate 
is when you do a lot of explosive high intensity exercises to the point where you where you feel like your heart is going to explode like doing sprints or HIIT high intensity in high intensity interval training so today i did a lot of rope slams whether I'm like squatting, whether I'm doing alternating legs, like um, lunge kind of things. And then I would do kettlebell swings or I would do kettlebell like lifts out of a squat. And then I would do like the manual treadmill where I had to push myself to walk and then uh, do some jogs on it also. So we did like three uh, back and forth between the treadmill and rope slams with kettlebell stuff. So. Um, I was like dying today, uh, definitely the worst I've ever felt during personal training, but even though I felt like shit and I hated it, um, of course I feel great that I got it done and that, uh, I did everything. So that's kind of like my personality towards working out and, uh, I do have issues like maintaining my stamina. So I always want to like try my very hardest for every single set, but you don't always want to do that because if you burn yourself out very quickly, then you can't really finish the workout. So you kind of want to pace yourself. But today I still feel like, I think I feel like so weak now, which is actually why I decided not to ride. I don't like riding after a workout because I just feel like my body is destroyed and I don't want to be riding when I feel weak like that. So originally I was going to maybe ride on the way back to work, but I actually feel like I'm still very tired and uh, very worn out, so I don't want to ride. But I am about to eat my freshly steak and peppercorn plate. So what I've been trying to do is order some freshly, six meals a week. This is my first week trying this out, by the way. I was going to do that. Um, I'm trying to save my freshly for times where I would normally buy out, so I get six of them for $60. And so far, I've only had one this week. And I have also been trying to make sandwiches for my meals where I just stuff it with like turkey, cheese, spinach, peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, and eat that for dinner. And it's actually quite filling for me. So making them doesn't take very long. Um, it also has a different variety, like a lot of veggies, some meat. And so I'm alternating like freshly for lunch maybe, and then sandwich for dinner and trying my best to not buy out at all because my theory is that a freshly meal is $10 and anytime I buy out it's almost always more than that it's almost always more than that so even though freshly meals being $10 is very close to like eating out I still think it's still saving you money just a little bit and my goal is just to like buy out as minimal as possible. So if I can cut that down, that would make me very happy. So this is my first attempt this week at seeing if I could not buy out at all and not feel like I'm suffering because I tend to cater, I, I tend to cave in whenever I'm craving something like, oh, I really wanna eat something, like I wanna order a steak or like I wanna order a salad, so I always do it. So this should hopefully, I hope, um, make it so that I do that less. So, let me get my food. Nope, you stay down. So this one has string beans on the side with carrots. Whoa. And then steak with the mashed potatoes. This is like one of the few meat dishes that they had that I enjoyed. Something I have been putting a lot of thought into is that Aegon, Shane's puppy, is proving to be pretty challenging. Where, I don't know what it is, but he has quite the attitude. So, Shane has been saying like, I'm telling him that it's very, very important to make sure your puppy is calm before you ever give him anything. So for example, whenever you let your puppy out of the crate, at this point, Aegon is whining a lot. He's flipping out, he's digging, he's doing everything he can to make noise. And <clears throat> when you open the crate door, they will try to rush out, right? So I'm telling him to make sure that Aegon is in a down, make sure he's not whining at all for at least minimum five to 10 seconds before you break him, let him out. But also when he comes out, he has to be calm. He has to come out calm. He can't run out because 
you want to like the whole concept is that calmness you want them to have that mentality in everything so if they're calm in a down but then they run out it's like they're kind of breaking that mental state that you want them to be in so it has to be the entire the entire um what do you call it just basically the entire action has to be calm throughout or you make them wait until they are and then do it again so in the beginning that's gonna suck very badly because you might be doing the same routine for 30 minutes until they finally calm down enough for you to let them out so for food Aegon is proving to be like a disaster and he's constantly like going apeshit trying to get to his food and I was telling Shane that Aegon actually feels like an interesting challenge to me um, I, I'm just really curious to see if I can manage to train him properly. So what I was thinking is that when I went over to his house on Sunday, I felt like Shane's presence was maybe distracting for Aegon to focus on me. Because even though Shane is definitely being very firm in a lot of aspects and he's doing a lot of things right, I think there are small things that he's missing that he needs to correct far earlier on and more often. And I, I'm wondering if Aegon is taking those moments to feel like Shane is not being as rigid as he could be. So having Shane around in those moments when I'm trying to train and be very firm with him might be a distraction. So I was thinking this weekend, maybe if Shane needs to leave the house for a couple hours or something, I was hoping that I could be alone with Aegon and try to train him on the e-collar for like three to four hours because I want to um, help him figure out like what method might work with Aegon. Plus, we haven't actually done e-collar training yet because I was an idiot and I forgot my different contact points the other day. So yeah, Saturday or Sunday. I'm really hoping to spend like several hours trying to see if I can get Aegon to improve on various aspects. Right now, I would still say the two most important things he needs to improve on is food and the crate. So with food, I've already talked about it. He's a nightmare, flipping out, wants to get to his food, rushing constantly, jumping. He lunges at you, the, uh, the handler, and for the crate, Shane said that he was digging for three hours each night or maybe even more. And that's just excessive. Think about the worst sound you can ever hear. Three hours persistent while you're trying to sleep. So I wanna see if I can help him out with that. And I definitely think e-collar is going to be necessary for the crate because e-collar is just amazing. There's so many levels to it. And for something like flipping out in the crate, you need to be able to adjust what stimulation they feel. So those two are very important. And then I wanna see if I can get Aegon to do sits with me, maybe some recall, but I think it's just gonna be a combination of many things because right now Aegon seems super bratty. And uh, even though I know it takes time, I do think that, I don't know, I'm very eager to try to help him out with this because I know that like, enduring some of the, these puppy behaviors every single day and not seeing improvement can be frustrating and I feel like I could help him out. So this weekend, hopefully, I will be able to have several hours alone with him to see if I could get him to improve. And also, just in case people are curious why I'm sitting here, um, I feel like I feel like I haven't been firm enough with Ryla in regards to sniffing at my food. So I'm kind of rigid about that where I want her to be aloof around food and she's generally pretty good about it. Like she's not gonna ever try to eat my food but the thing is I don't want her to be like sniffing in the direction of my food either. So if she was sitting right here, she's actually right next to me. I don't, I, I'm guessing you can see like the top of her ear or something but She's lying down next to me and I wanted to sit here and see if she was going to sniff at my food because for a while now, 
I have been using verbal corrections whenever she sniffs at my food. Like, she would be sniffing and I'd be like, mm-mm, and then she would stop. But I kind of want it to get to a point where she doesn't ever do that. So I have my remote here. It's set at like 30. Normally her correction level is a 60, but that's for, that's for stuff she knows. So for example, if I told her like any obedience command she knows and she doesn't do it, that's the correction level I would use. Same for place. But um, for something like sniffing at my food, it doesn't require like a high level correction. I just want it um, not super low, but medium to the point where she's like, understands that this is like a warning correction, not to really do that ever again. But she's doing really good right now. She's just lying down and it's been good to see her. Mm. Okay, I, I've been talking too much. I need to finish eating this.